Okay, guys, real quick. This is the um, uh, all all of us have access to this. Uh, David, John, uh, this is the Bank of England. Uh, yeah, Fernando, if you don't mind, it's an up report. Yeah. So, you guys want definitely want to check this out. This is the uh, the marketing website where you can come in and order all your stuff. Uh, so, a couple of things here. All the tools right here. You click on the tools link. This is the uh, first one. It's bank payment and the share. And basically, what it is, uh, it's thirty-five dollars a month. It'll post all kinds of different content on your social media, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn or Twitter. Uh, it's, it's relative pertinent information. It could be about the school district, your mom, your home, your kitchen. It just helps you um, add pages of good content to your and build out your your social social media pages. Um, the marketing company will do all that for you. So this is a kind of cool thing. It's under uh, mortgage share. So it's got a lot of cool stuff in there, uh, and it's all compliant. It's something you guys would probably like to do. Or if you have a Facebook page or you have you know, something that uh, LinkedIn wanted to add stuff for thirty-five dollars, it's a really good price. Um, so definitely check that out. They'll do all your pages for thirty-five or thirty-five for each platform for all of them. For all of them. Yeah, well, really? okay. Yeah, it's a good price. Uh, this is a uh, this, this is called Crumbs. This is a um, a drip campaign. Um, after the deal closes, they'll gather your customer all their information. Um, send them postcards, um, you know, anniversaries, happy birthday. You know, follow up with them automatically so that way you don't have to like Kevin, you're writing out all those cards. This thing will do it on its own. So um, a monthly thing you can set up. Um, and it'll just you can add in all kinds of information in there. You kind of take a look at it right here. Let's take a look. Probably your pipeline. So those are your, those are probably your borrowers that you close. Is this some, is this something like a company? Something a company would buy into? Oh, the branch, sorry. <laughs> this, this is really good stuff. I mean, these kind of things that I really like, this kind of thing, and I wish a lot of people would do it, but doesn't, but uh, we're definitely going to get signed up with this. Yeah, that's big. I started this right now. It's just little things like, you know, people like that kind of stuff. And so, uh, Uh, I think that's gonna be really cool. There's all different, all different ones here, different and different holidays. We'll send stuff out, so we're gonna definitely we're gonna be all over that. Um, the other thing that looks kind of cool here that I was looking at, um, and they got this right here, like you know. Um, this is flyers, brochures, business cards, yard signs. Want any of that kind of stuff? They got all kinds of stuff here that you can do. I mean, there's just you know all different things. If you want to order anything, you know, like that. Um, what, what, what got my attention the most was this mobile app. Uh, you can get it downloaded from Google Play or the App Store, and it's kind of uh, no, the App Store. Thank you. 
Track the status of your loans, and also I have to feel for your bills for logging too to check the status of the loan. I had trouble finding where our login would be. There it is, there it is. It allows both borrowers and realtors to find, research, and contact the nearest branch, calculate mortgage payments and loan affordability, apply for a loan, upload any required loan documentation directly from a smartphone, and access real-time loan information and updates directly from the company. Let's take an in-depth look at some of the features of that. Immediately upon opening the app, the user is able to choose if they are a borrower or a realtor. They also can navigate to the Bank of England Mortgage website if they wish to learn more about the company. A short message and two options are available in the borrower form. One for new users and one for returning users. Let's step through the process of being a new user. The user selects how they will refer. Individual branches that have requested to be in the app will receive a branch code that can be used in both print and digital media, as well as word of mouth referrals. This will take users directly to the branch they've been referred to. If the user does not have a branch code, they can simply use the geolocate option, search by zip code or by state. Let's search for branches in Wisconsin, then choose BOE Milwaukee. We get an overview of the branch and can select Make This My Branch. Now we're taken to the branch information tab. Once again, we can read a little about the branch as well as give Google Maps directions to the branch from our current location. The staff list gives us an overview of the loan officers available in this branch. Tapping a staff member, we can learn a bit about them. The Contact Us section allows the user to both call and email the branch if they have questions or concerns about their loan. Finally, we have a link to the branch's Facebook page. That allows the user to like and follow the page to receive news and information about the branch. The All Blue Tools tab contains an assortment of calculators that will help a borrower in evaluating the loan. The mortgage calculator has been overhauled and now allows a borrower to either enter a down payment amount or a down payment percentage and select an interest rate and term. Pressing Calculate will return the monthly payments, total payments, and total amount paid in interest. The loan affordability calculator will tell a borrower how much they should be able to finance over the specific term. The borrower enters an affordable loan payment, interest rate, loan term, and presses calculator. They will then see an estimate of the loan amount they could afford along with any applicable disclaimers. The renting versus buying calculator will calculate the cost difference between the borrower and the borrower. Once the item the borrower is added, the borrower is added to the borrower. Real to the right. Real to the borrower. It's probably told when the cost of renting is greater than the cost of buying. Now let's look at what a user will have access to once they've started the loan process. Before a borrower can access the personal loan information screens, he or she must be correctly set up in accounts. 
It's a simple three-step process. First, make sure you've entered the borrower's cell phone. Second, make sure you've entered the borrower's social security number. Finally, enter the buyer's agent information and file contacts. Once this information is entered, the borrower will have access to up-to-date loan information from the office. To log in, the user simply uses their mobile number and the last four digits of their social security number. If the user has multiple loans in progress, they are presented with an option to choose a subject property. Otherwise, they're taken directly to the loan. The user is instantly greeted with a progress bar of their loan, giving them a visual representation of the loan process. All data is loaded directly from Encompass in real time. In the status section, we get a little more in-depth information about the loan and subject property. The document section allows the user to take an image or select an image from a gallery of documents that are then uploaded directly into a compass. The loan officer button lets us learn a little bit more about the loan officer. More importantly, it allows the user to both call and email the loan officer in case of questions or concerns with their loan. The title company button gives you access to the title company assigned to the borrower's loan. You'll be able to call or email your title agent just as you can with a loan officer. We've added a new realtor option to the loan dashboard. Just like the loan officer and title company options, the borrower will be able to see a picture of the realtor, view his or her contact information, and call or email directly from the app. Additionally, once you pre qualify for your loan, You'll be able to request a copy of your pre qual letter via email. Just click on the send pre qual letter button and you'll be emailed a copy in about 15 minutes. The loan officer will need to enter a why as a yes. If the borrower is eligible for pre qual, make sure your loan amount is the pre qual amount and that you have all of the pertinent information in your encompass file, including loan amount, appraised value, and interest rate. Now let's take a look at the real. Realtors log in with their MLS and a four-digit PIN that they can get by talking to a loan officer or branch manager, which is done by accessing the Bank of England entry net. Realtor access is very simple and easy. Go to the internet, origination, mobile app realtor management, and complete the realtor information. The information is saved into your business contacts and accounts. You can add a photo of the realtor or their logo creating a more customized version for them. Once you add them, they will receive an automated email with their four-digit PIN. The Realtor portal contains much of the same information and functions as the borrower portal, allowing the Realtor to know in real time where the loan is in the process as well as upload documents, speak to the loan officer, and much more. The Bank of England Mortgage app is an ancient. It will boost leads and make the overall process be good. much better. Like because every every loan you got coming in, you got to get the code from the borrower and download that mobile app. Yeah. That's going to be really big for you guys. I can, I can tell you, if I would have had that when I was originating, I would have probably increased my business by 15, 20 percent easily. That's that's awesome. Uh, so anyway, and you can uh, you guys have access to the thing, the website. So um, the other thing that I want to do real quick with the, the new guys. Um, Bank of England Mortgage. <laughs> so, well, on Saturday, Mark, you had already left for the day, but we went over the script. Um, and what I want to do tonight is I want you guys to get up here and uh, pretend that I'm the customer. And you guys read the script to me, okay? And how you're going to deliver it. And I want, we're going to keep doing this 100 times until you get some grain in you and learning how to overcome objections and how to talk to people. And so that way it becomes very smooth when you're talking. You already got, I know you already know how to talk and you already, you're doing your thing, but some of these things you can pick up and it can make all the difference when you get a loan or not. So, um, Sean, let's start with you. Sure. Okay. You have a copy of the script? I do. No, you do. Oh. Um, do you have a copy of it? All right. So you're going to be the you're going to be the LO. I'm going to be the I'm going to be the borrower. So, um, uh, so sure. 
Uh, hello, good afternoon. This is Sean Houston. I'm a senior loan officer calling to follow up with you on your inquiry that you made about uh, USDA home loan. I wanted to check in with you and find out how we can help. Um, yeah, so I was wanting to buy a house. My friend was telling me about it. Something like you can get 100% financing um, for like, I don't know, is it a USDA home or low income housing? I don't know how it works. Sure. Uh, let me explain how to you how this works. Uh, there are two different types of loan programs, an urban program and a rural program. Um, the rural program is a federally uh, home loan program that offers 0% down, 100% financing. Um, so a person can literally buy a house with no down payment. You know there is there are government grants and loans for people to go to college. Well, this is um, a government loan to buy a house. Okay. Um, the okay. major advantages uh, of the USDA loan is there's no down payment. It has a really low fixed rate income or interest rate. So you will have a, a very affordable house payment. Okay. Um, closing costs can be rolled. Uh, can be uh, closing costs can be paid by the seller and rolled into the loan. Uh, generally, your loan out-of-pocket expense is about 450 to 900 bucks. Uh, total move-in, 950 total move-in. Okay. You can buy a new home, existing home, or even a foreclosure. Okay, so you can buy a foreclosure too. Correct. Yeah. With um, with the urban program, um, this is developed. This is developed for cities like Houston or Orlando, and it does not have and does have any. Uh, can I go off kind of? Sure. Your, yeah. Your, no, you. I want you to sign up. I want you. Uh, this is just. Yeah. A, this is just a blue blue. Plan. Sure, man. I'm just like <laughs> I have stuff going in my head, and I'm trying to go back and forth. Okay. Um, so our our urban program is unlike our our rural program, whereas the houses can be anywhere, in the city, in the, in the, um, in the, in the rural areas. Uh, however, the urban program offers a, a, uh, a little less stringency on the credit requirements, but you got to put 3.5% down as a down payment. Um, so there are several acceptable sources of down payment. The three, you can get this from a gift as a family member, your boss, um, employer, tax refund, sell something with this program the, the option to rule and closing costs is still available as well um, we need to take a look at where you are and uh, you want to buy and what type of home you're looking for so we can take it from there um no, that, that sounds good we're looking to, to purchase i don't know if you know where your porter is uh, uh, yes i do I'm looking and, to buy a house over there would that be would that be the urban or rural program how much money am i looking at out of pocket sure so porter is actually eligible for the usda zero down program um, that's awesome. Um, let me tell you about the program guidelines. Uh, what did you just ask me again? I'm, I apologize. No, I was just wondering, is that, is that for eligible for USDA rule or is that for the urban program? How much? Yes. Is that uh, now that's a zero percent down program that's available for the rural program. Okay. Um, as long as the rural program and the house is uh, eligible within the eligibility maps, uh -huh. um, then you can be eligible for USDA zero down program. Um, the program guidelines. Um, like I said, are, are for family homes, modular homes, townhomes, and condos. Um, mobile home and manufacturer homes are not uh, eligible, but your modular home okay. is. My brother has a single family trailer, so I can't get that from him? No, you can't. If it's a modular home that was built off premise, all in one piece, or in pieces and brought and put on the homestead, then it is. Uh, what, about, what about the way it's connected? They connected a house to a mobile home on foundation. Well, let me ask you, does he have a red HUD tag on the house? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, um, you, you know, that's kind of the telltale sign if it is unapproved, if it's a modular okay. or mobile home. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we definitely can dig into that a little further if okay. you'd like. Okay. Um, but usually the double wides and single wides are mobile homes um, that are, are built. Um, okay. Uh, that are. So if you think, uh, oh, excuse me. So the um, also for your um, your urban loan, the credit scores, like I mentioned, they drop um, to provide um, uh, you with a, an income score um, 620, and we can manual and write all the way down to about 580. So it drops the credit requirements a little for you because you're putting in a down payment. Well, I thought I thought you said this was the uh, rural program. Oh, I apologize. We are talking about the rural program, and um, so let me take you back. The 640 is going to be our minimum score um, to do a DU underwrite. Our manual underwriting system goes all the way down to a 620. Okay. Okay. Um, um, all right. So what, what, what else do we need to do here? Okay. Um, so the, the rural program also has an income 
limit. Okay. Um, may I ask you how much you make uh, yearly? Um, I think for 2015, I made about 50000 50000 mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, uh, income uh, rates, or excuse me, income uh, requirements do vary by county. Um, however, um, it's basically around seventy-five to eighty thousand, so you seem to uh, be um, into that range. Um, if you think you meet the basic requirements, we can see what you qualify for today and grant you a loan approval letter. Uh, from there, we would put you in touch with our local realtor in the area and that specialized in the USDA. They will meet you uh, with you and help you find a home to buy. Uh, they represent you, look out for your best interest, and handle and will handle all the paperwork. Best of all, you do not pay them. They get paid by the seller. Okay, so do I have do I have to go with your realtor? Uh, no, you don't have to go with our realtor. I highly recommend that uh, you do go with our realtor to keep everything in house. Um, this is a communication process, and um, when you do have a, a realtor out of our network, um, you know there is a few steps I have to take to get a hold of them and make sure that they'll be communicated with me throughout the process. If you go with Christina and our loyalty network, the process is seamless, and you know that everyone's going to be, um, you know, communicative uh, quite nicely. Okay. Okay. So it's up to you, but um, no, I, I, no, I mean, we don't have a realtor. I, just, I mean, like I said, we, I got to get out of this apartment in three months. And so as long as we can do zero down, I'm in. Sure. Wonderful. So the next step is uh, getting to work on a pre pre-qualified. That's when the fun starts. You can go looking at houses and, and uh, okay. you know, people will take you serious there when you have that pre-qualification in your hands of what you can uh, purchase. Um, what do you estimate your credit score at this time? Uh, credit card has got me at 632. Okay, 632. And, and how much of a house are you looking at? Uh, the one that my wife's looking at was about 100. Hey, I got a question for you. Uh, I just want to know, I just want to make sure it's not a scam. I mean, who, who are you? I've never met you before. You're asking me all these questions about my income and credit. Oh, no, definitely. Um, that's a great question. If I was um, inquiring over the same thing, I'd have uh, the same questions. Um, I am a loan officer with the Bank of England. Um, my Bank of England? Yeah, Bank of England. It's actually out of England, Arkansas. Um, we've been in business over 100 years, family-owned bank. Oh, okay. And um, I'm going to give you my license number now. It's 144-6038. Um, you can look that up on the MLS, MNLS registry if you'd like. Okay. Um, and also, um, the bank uh, license number is 484148. Okay. So you can look those up as well. Um, let's see. We are FDI insured with the Better Business Bureau, um, and as I mentioned, I, my NMLS license is, is uh, 156333. I'm sure you did research on us, um, and you can look us up in all the reviews, the people that we helped with. Uh, because we are a bank, our rates are the, are the lowest. We cut out middlemen and lend directly to you. Okay, so, so you're not the USDA. Well, actually, the way it works is the USDA actually guarantees the loans. Uh, we act, we our, our lender gives the money and the government guarantees the loan. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, sort of like uh, student loans in Sally May, okay. how uh, private lenders will lend to students and Sally May will buy them on the secondary market yeah. and, and okay. purchase them. I see what you're saying. Let me ask you, what's your full legal name? Uh, Reginald Keenan. Okay, Reggio. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Reg? Oh, I'm Reggio. Uh, <laughs> I'm the manager at Walmart. I've been there for four years. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so um, what is your income there at Walmart, Reggie, for this um, this year? Uh, well, like I said, for 2015, they got me about 50. 50 per year? And is that hourly or salary? No, I get paid by the hour. Okay, and what's that hourly rate? Um, last time I checked, I was at 19. Okay, so 19 times 40 times 52 divided by 12. I'm saying that's 39520. Okay. Uh, hey, Reggie, are you getting overtime? Yeah, right now I'm putting in about about 10 a week. Cool. And, and how long actually have you been getting that overtime? Uh, I just started getting overtime. Okay, uh, so for like 2014, you didn't get any overtime whatsoever? No, no, not 2014. I started getting overtime like in the summer when we got busy. Someone, uh, they fired a bunch of people and they, they told me to come in and work extra hours and um, so it was probably like by June. Understood. So the way it works is we actually need two years of overtime, um, uh, overtime history in order to pre, uh, in, in order, in order, what am I, um, 
Yeah, we we need actually two years, so I'm just gonna use your base pay to pre-qualify you. How to get the house, right? Yeah, I didn't know either. Um, well, depending on um, exactly what your numbers come up as. Now, again, everything's um, obviously got to be documented, and if your if your overtime is not documented for two years, we don't know if that's gonna continue on. So that's the reason why. Um, you know, uh, so let, let me ask you this question: Are you single or are you married? Uh, I'm married, but uh, I don't want her. I don't want her going alone. Her credit's not good. Okay. Let me ask you: What does she? <laughs> you say credit. <laughs> what does she have on her credit? Does she have any collections or derogatory items on there? Um, yeah, she's got a few. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and what are those balances? Um, they're about four thousand. No. She's got a Capital One, a Sears collection. And are you eligible for VA benefits? Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and let me ask you, how much are your monthly bills, like credit cards and car payments and, and all that stuff? Um, paying, um, I was looking at it last night, and I'm paying about 400 Okay. And I assume you're renting, correct? Yeah. That's the that's whole yeah. deal. Yeah, Getting all uh, the yeah, rent yeah, to a yeah, house. I understood. Definitely. Okay. And, uh, and how long have you been renting that for, that house? No, it's an apartment. I've been there for oh, three the years. Oh, apartment, three years. Yeah. Okay, great. And uh, can you verify your social and your wife's that I have here? Yeah. Yeah, mine's, mine's is 567-877-9999. Okay. Um, and hers is 456-225-463. Exactly what I got here. Perfect. Okay. okay. So does Tammy have an income? No, she don't work. Okay, any bankruptcies, tax liens, for code foreclosure, or any child support? Yeah, I pay child support one fifty, yeah. but it's not on my pay stub, bro. Okay, okay. So, um, so you have been divorced? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, that's something that we'll need to bring up when you give me documentation is divorce decree. Okay. okay. So uh, we'll keep that in mind. Have you owned a home in the last three years? No. Okay. Uh, do you have any losses on your claimed, uh, excuse me, do you have any losses that you claim on your tax returns? Um, well, I own a barbershop and it's not making any money right now. Right. And I lost about 3000 last year. Uh, Reggie, let me ask you, do you still own that barbershop or did you get rid of it? Uh, yeah, I'm still on a lot. You, uh, you know what? I do need a fade in here now and then, but uh, no, the reason I ask is that if it was closed, then we would not have to include the loss. Uh, but it, yeah. since it remains open, we will have to adjust for the loss. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Approximate value of checking, savings, four hundred one k stocks and bonds that you got there, Reggie. Uh, about two thousand. About two thousand. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm gonna run now to see what you qualify for. Let me uh, dissect this out and give you a number. Okay, so we see the housing ratio looks good, but the back end ratio is too high. Um, so we need to get creative. Uh, there's two ways we could do this. Either we could pay down collections below 2000 to remove $200 payments on collections from liabilities. Um, and this will put your ratio about 40%, so we're good here. The next step is eligible up to 70000 if you don't pay off collection. Okay, hold on. So uh, you lost me there. I'm not, I did too. Yeah, I'm not mathematically inclined. But what, uh... <laughs> okay, <laughs> let, let, me, let me step back here for you. Um, so... So listen, our, our debt to income ratio here um, is what we're looking for. Sure, debt to income ratio is primarily how much you're bringing in and how much is going out. Um, you know, uh, there's a front end and back end. The front end is primarily your your base pay coming in uh, uh, towards the, the house payment. Yeah. Your back end is all your liabilities that you have, car payment, credit cards, uh, mortgage, uh, divided there by your, your income. Okay. Um, so when I say that you have to, uh, you know, pay your collections down below two thousand, and to remove two hundred dollar payments on collections, this is going to help with that debt to income ratio of how much is coming in and how much is going out. Right. Okay. Um, gotcha. So um, this number two, el eligible up to seventy k if you don't pay off collection. So primarily, what I'm saying so I'm paying is paying off. We you said paying it down. Because you said you said pay it down. I can't pay four thousand on a collection. Oh, I got two. Yeah. 
You are right. Um, well, my notes here say eligible to 70K if you don't pay down or pay off collection. But um, my note above says that you only need to pay off $200 of that $2,000 for it to be $70,000. Am I supposed to pay off $200 or $2,000? You're paying off 200 or 2000 you are paying down the collections below $2,000. Oh, okay. And that's going to remove $200 from uh, to remove $200 payment on collections for liabilities. Okay. Um, all right, go ahead. Okay, so 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 to do so when we're paying down your collections below 200 or 2,000, um, it's going to put our ratio at 40 percent, which we are good on our debt income ratio. Okay. Um, are, are you following me? Yeah. Gotcha. yeah no, I okay, I apologize for misunderstanding no, there. Okay. Um, okay, Reg, here are our options. We can get you up to $100,000, zero down. One thing we'll need to do is that your wife's collections. If we pay that down below 2000 then we don't have to include that into the debt. Again, below 2000 So make a payment on that so it shows a, a collection of debt below 2000 Okay. Um, so our other option is that you don't have to pay off it off, and we can allow you to have a free call of around 70000 to go out and look for a house. Uh, Which way would what well, well, you know? Looking at those two options, with paying down if you had a um, liquidable asset in your pocket to pay down with, or just to go with the seventy thousand without having to pay anything down out of pocket. Uh, right, Which right, one would right, you There ain't no homes for seventy thousand in my area. I've already checked. That, that ain't gonna work. I, I can, we can. I think I can make it work to pay down the collection if you give me the hundred. Okay, I understand that. Yes, yeah, seventy thousand for a house is pushing in that area that I see. Um, okay, so um, all you have to do is call the collection agency, make a payment, and then again the documentation. We're on that line. Send all the documentation that you get to me so I can verify this has been done. Um, and and so I'm going to actually pull credit now so I can get this thing rolling. Um, how soon actually can you get that paid, Reg? Uh, I can get it done by tomorrow. Okay, great. Uh, just wanted to uh, follow up with you. I had a chance. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and pull the credit. Credit comes back at 662. Okay, Reggie, I checked the credit. Everything looks good. Uh, now, Reggie, let me go ahead and walk you through the rest of this. Uh, so right now, you've been pre-qualified to buy a home at $100,000. No, nothing down, 100% finance. I am going to request we get the closing costs covered by the seller. I'm estimating your total move-in expense to be about, uh, give or take, $1,000 um, for appraisal and inspection. Your total payment will be about uh, $800, give or take. Also, one thing you might want to do is enter into a repayment or rapid pay plan where, you, uh, where if you make bi-weekly payments, you will save seven years off a loan and get a lower interest rate. Usually lowers it by... Half percent. Oh wow, really? I will send you an Amer. Uh, Amer yeah, I like that. I will send you an Amer. Uh, gosh. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Amer Amerization yeah. schedule. Okay. So um, what we can do is pull other two bureaus so I can see the accuracy of the uh, the um, the revalidation of the scores. Okay. The next step, uh, Reg, I'm going to send you with our loyalty network, uh, Keller Williams. It's great that we put everybody into our loyalty network again with the communication issues that we have during the process. This kind of uh, makes sure that everyone's connected. Um, she will call you today. She's actually going to call you from an 832 number. It's a local number here in Houston, Texas. Um, she'll meet with you and your wife, learn about you, probably know your favorite color by the end of this. Um, the type of home you're looking for, school district, and, and so forth. Uh, once you find a house, and you want to put an offer on and negotiate with the seller. Um, is that just like a perpetuity with, with no um, end date? Or? Okay. And one, once you find a home that you uh, okay. that you like and your family like, you'll go ahead and put a contract in and negotiate with the seller on uh, on to make a deal. Okay. Once you sign a purchase agreement, we will start we will start processing the loan and get it ready for underwriting. Okay. Um, I will package up the loan. We will need to get a few items from you, 2014, 15 tax returns, most recent pay stubs, uh, driver's license, social security card paperwork, showing that account paid up to 19. So it looks like- Okay, so we'll need uh, paperwork. The, the paperwork you've already sent in, you've already sent in all the other stuff, but we will need the paperwork showing 
that the account paid to nineteen ninety um, for the uh, two thousand dollar collection and it was paid below two thousand. So if you can pay that about ten dollars under to about nineteen ninety. If you could try to send this in by fax or email, both lines very secure coming to my um, uh, lap, excuse me, desktop. Um, or you can actually upload them on a mobile app. Uh, I'll send you over the, the download. You can do that on the Google Play Store or the iPhone. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, it, it's uh, you know for the more tech savvy buyer, but it's it's a very cool. Uh, um, so yeah, okay, from there, the loan will go into processing. Um, we once we get all the documentation, it'll go into processing, and um, they'll be able to actually touch you, touch, uh, they will actually to be in touch with you and work with you to get the loan closed with the underwriter. Okay. Um, however, I will always be here to answer any questions you may have um, or any additional items that the underwriter might want. Um, just to set precedence, there will be documentation needed up until the time of close. So just setting, setting that expectation early. Um, during the, the course of getting the home loan, you will always be from it. Um, it's not one of the done. Okay. Next on the loan goes the underwriter, who is the final decision maker on the loan. They essentially validate your information to ensure it's correct and accurate. Meets the guidelines. Okay, Normally, once the loan goes into underwriting, we see about a 98% success rate. Okay. So it's pretty good. That's one thing I was worried about. Yeah, it's pretty solid. And uh, there, they will give you a loan, um, but also make sure it's compliant. Um, so don't be alarmed if they're just doing their job. So they're here just to give you a loan and to be compliant. So if it's uh, you know seem daunting about the documentation they're asking, it's for a reason. Um, the underwriter may come back and ask for more information. Uh, from there, we'll order the appraisal. Uh, what the appraisal is for, it's going to tell how much the house is worth, and that's a lot to us because we don't want to give you more money than the house is worth. Um, so we get the appraisal cost. It's going to cost you about five hundred dollars. And we can uh, actually get that paid directly from you on a credit card. Okay. Um, so then when, it, when the, uh, they will come out with the appraisal of the property, determine the value of the home. We will also connect with the title company to start working on transferring the title and getting you title insurance. Uh, title insurance shows the, um, uh, the history of the property, any loans or liens that are out on it currently, and, uh, and so forth. So we'll get that, and, the, and once the under, underwriter clears final conditions, mm -hmm. she will order a clear to close. Okay. Uh, this means everything is done, final, and you can go to closing. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Um, you will sign the final closing papers at the title company or our attorney's office. We will send a wire to the title company to pay the seller, and title will transfer over and the loan will fund and you will get the keys to your new house. Okay, good. Okay. Generally, you have one month no payment after closing, so that's always good. Uh, the pre-qualification is good for two months. So it gives you a little time to go out there and look for a house. It doesn't get you uh, next yeah, next week to have to find the one. Yeah, um, if you don't find a home, we can extend it for another two months after that. Uh, we keep extending, but after three months, we will have to update the credit income because the credit is a snapshot of a, uh, a credit at that day, then of that day on that date. Um, I will personally be staying in touch periodically uh, to see how things are coming along. Uh, what is the best place to reach you? Do you like phone, email, text? Text. Okay, if you have any questions or you need anything, please call me, email me, or text me at any time. I'm always available. Um, and one thing about us, we we don't go out and, and, and rate uh, battle rates. We, we customer battle. So we want to make sure we're there for you, and um, and, and we, we're, we're taking that customer service to the next level. Uh, one other thing that is very important, please do not let anyone else put your credit. Um, the approval is a snapshot, as I said, um, of the time and credit. And if you start letting people pull your credit, that snapshot is going to change. Um, uh, and it's going to obviously lower the score and eligibility of, your, uh, of yourself getting a new home. Um, if you are thinking about buying a car or something, just tell me. And then I can work out the numbers for you, and yeah. we can get it going, and if it's going to affect you or not. Um, also, also, best, uh, please do your best to retain your employment, um, or if you're going to switch jobs, please let me know. Um, so, Reg, do you have any other uh, questions before I send out this free approval letter? Well, great. Uh, you know, I apologize for stumbling on my words, but uh, next time I'll get it better. No, that's okay. You did very good. Thanks, All right, guys. Give him a hand. Yeah, nice guy. What do you guys think? I'm after a new guy.
Uh, huh? What? Hey, here's the thing though. You master this. Yeah. It's a gold mine. So, I want to try it next, you know, without it. Just go in and see yeah. if I can get it. Start, start practicing it. Who, who else wants to go next? That's cool. Who's next? Mark? Let's go, Callahan. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, you have a free call? Yeah. I swear I'm 100% better on the phone when I don't have the thing in front of me, I swear. That's fine. Um, can you uh can you pit stop on that?